All right, well, I made this uh, bagger a little while back, and uh, I didn't want to put a fender and a uh, front fairing on it. I wanted it to have like kind of like that classic naked Harley look going on there. Um, but I've recently decided I want that stuff. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do is fender. So to make a fender, I don't have steel and the equipment to roll steel and form steel and all that stuff. To do that here, I could bang some stuff out by hand and do lots of welding and make it happen. But I want it to be light as also. So I'm making it out of fiberglass, kind of like the rest. So to make the fender, it has to be hollow. I can't make it out of foam like those unless I'm gonna hog it all out after. So I need to make pretty much a buck to cure the fiberglass over to wrap. So I'm gonna use wood and uh, let's show you how to do that. So, some tools I'll need. First thing you wanna do is figure out what your diameter is. So I know it's a 26 inch wheel, uh, right at the 13 and a half mark is about where my tire is. You wanna give it some room so everything's not rattling around on it. So let's go with the 14 radius. And then we've got the width three inches so let's split that let's go about three and a half maybe three and three quarter inches wide how wide are my forks four and a half so we're good there yeah let's go about three and a half width give you a quarter of play on each side all right, so now that I know I got a 14 inch radius, let's figure that out. So I'm gonna screw all my wood onto here to get my shape and glue it. So one of the first things I'll need to do is decide where the center is gonna be so I can get my arc. So let's put it at the 17, just so I know I got enough room. Doesn't really matter here, as long as I have enough room on every side. Actually, I want to drop down a little bit. So let's go here. And when I say drop down, I'm talking about the back side of it. So I don't want it to be like every other fender you see, you know, where they hug it. I want it to go and hang down along the ground behind it. So there's that. Now, uh, I'm gonna need to tie a loop at 14 inches. So there's, 14 so right here i need a loop pull it tight make sure it doesn't go anywhere now i want this to stay low on the pencil so that way my angle can't change a whole lot so we want to stay real low on that pencil all right and if you look 14 14 it's a hair over 14 but that'll work so if i angle it in a little bit we'll be perfect so now all i want to do is draw the contour of my wheel and tire so Like that. All right, so that needs to be the outside of it. Now I want it to go around, wrap around the inside of the tire as well, kind of cover the wheel, which is about two and three quarters. So let's go with uh, three inches. <clears throat> so I want it to be roughly three inches deep here so it can wrap around the sides of the wheel so I'm just doing this for quick reference this isn't really required here all right now like I said around the back of it I want to drop down and match the uh, kind of the curve of the frame so let's get a straight, I say the curve of the frame. The frame is straight, so match the straight of the frame. So really, I want my fender to go from about here, and then, and that's what I'm shooting for here.
<clears throat> so actually, let's see about how long we need it. That's what I was doing. All right. <clears throat> so I need it. I want it to go from about in line with the frame to where it meets the radius here. So I want that long of it to be straight. And of course, we'll go a little more so I got room to trim. So that's what I wanted. Like I said, I want room to trim. So I want it about like that. And I don't want it straight, right? Because that's kind of whatevs. I want it to match the frame. So it's going to go kind of like this. <clears throat> so now, basically, it's going to go. that oh my fork I don't know is something like this so it's gonna do something like that And then kind of go something like that. And then around here, it's gonna chop to where it's straight with, with the ground. So basically that's gonna be my fender. So not quite, we're a little shy. Either way, divide 90. Alright, so let's go with it though. It'll be slightly more than 7 and an eighth for my distance, but we'll make it 90. So 90 divided by 3 is 30. That means each one of these is 30. So if those are 30 degrees, And these two degrees are going to obviously be the same but opposite, right? Same here. So if that's 30, they need to equal 180. So what is 180? That's 150. So it's 150 divided by 2. <clears throat> Alright, so if we go 75, 75, and 30, we get 180. So obviously, like I said, once we know these are 30, Divide 150 by two, and that gives you these angles because they have to be the same, so 75. So then we'll rotate it to where it lines up perfect so they're all the same pizza pies. We'll have some extra material. And I used seven and eighth, I want to say, for my far end. So this is obviously gonna be a little different, so let's go a little different. <clears throat> I'm gonna make this three pieces thick, and they're going to stagger. And the reason they're going to stagger is so they can glue together So what's uh, 75 minus 90? 15. So I should be able to cut two 15s and it'd be uh, 75. That makes sense, right? <laughs> uh. All right, so I'm just gonna cut the end for a sample. That's the only reason I'm cut, making this cut here, this first one. All right, there we go. So garbage. Now, like I said, seven and an eighth. But this is gonna be slightly smaller than seven and an eighth, right? I mean, sorry, very slightly larger than seven and an eighth. Let's go one sixteenth larger to make it up over the three. Boom, too short. <laughs> Actually, that's right at seven and an eighth. So, all 
Oh, because I was going from there to there. I don't want to go from there to there. I got to go from the tops, right? So what is that? Let's go seven and a half, actually. All right, so if I put that there, there we go. It's pretty much slightly bigger than my pizza pie, which should get me where I need at the end. All right, so first things first, let's start gluing while we're cutting. That way it can dry up quicker. So like I said, this is gonna be the form that I'm shaping it over. And I don't want nails in that because I'm going to be shaping that then, right? So if there's nails in it, or screws or anything, it's going to be really hard to shape the wood, right? It's going to be bad for any kind of blade that I decide to use. Um, so it won't work. So what I'm actually going to do is screw these down and glue them. And what this will do is this, then I can pull these screws and the parts will be glued together. Yep, there we go. Get these relatively flat there. All right, now I'm gonna need to figure out my straight, which might actually even be 90. And just like the rest, I want to screw it. Let's see it's a fresher one than that. This is a lot of glue. This thing better stay nice. So obviously I'm not gonna be able to probably shape today. Cause I'm gonna let this glue dry up super good. Now, we let the glue dry. 